Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I make videos about Disney and also some vlogs as well. So if you are interested in those, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna be filming a guest stories video specifically from when I was an ACC. If you don't know what an ACC is, it is just like a character attendant. I think they call them in America. I'm just gonna get straight into the video. So the first story that I'm gonna say is when I was ACCing Winnie the Pooh and this was just like right at the back, so behind Alice's Labyrinth uh, where there is like Kate Casey Jr. and Contefei and I was AC seeing Winnie the Pooh there and the queue had gotten really really long and so many people were rude to me because I was closing the queue because it was like an hour and a half long so we closed it pretty early and obviously on the program it does say that you can meet Pooh between like let's say 10 and 1 I can't remember the exact timings but it's something like that and obviously because we closed early so many people were annoyed. On this specific day I had a man who was very very rude to me and I was saying the line is closed for today, um, it's finished or like every way of possibly saying that the line is closed so that he might understand one word because he wasn't English speaking, he was Portuguese and I was saying like the line is closed, se firme, está cerrado. In Brazilian Portuguese, it's closed is, está fechado. Okay, like it's kind of different, but like, fechado, fini, cerrado, like you'd get, you'd get the picture. Anyway, this man said to me, <laughs> in English, I don't speak English, you'll have to tell me in Portuguese. Like he said a perfect English sentence. Yeah, he couldn't understand that I was saying it's finished, it's closed. The fact that like he said that sentence in English and it's like, I get it, like I can say I don't speak French in French and I can say I don't speak Spanish in Spanish. If you could say that, surely you understand that I'm saying it's closed. I just, like, he was so rude. And like he just kept saying, no, I don't understand and trying to get in the queue and I was like, no. Oh gosh, he was a nightmare. Okay, so this next story didn't happen directly to me. It was one of the ACCs that I was working with when I was ACCing Remy. And I was at the front doing like the pictures and stuff and then the other ACC was closing the queue. And on this particular day, we had to close the queue after every single set. So I think Remy did like four or five sets throughout the day. And after every one, we had to close the queue. So we'd basically like let people get in the queue, close it, do the half an hour set, go off set, come back half an hour later, close the queue, and it was like that. So the ACC who was closing the queue, there were two girls who came up to her with like a Remy toy, and they were like, oh, can we get in the queue to meet Remy, please? And she was like, oh no, I'm sorry, it's closed now, but if you come back in half an hour, then he's gonna be back out so you can come and meet him then. And even though he was coming out in literally half an hour, they were like, oh no, we can't come back then, our train's in about half an hour, so we won't be able to come back then. And she was like, okay, well, I'm sorry, I can't let you in now because Romy needs to go off set. So we go off set, half an hour later, we come back and these girls are still there. And they are obviously like the first in the queue and they meet Remy, show them their toys. They have a lovely little meet and greet and as they're leaving, our ACC is like, oh, you better hurry up because otherwise you're going to miss your train. Knowing that they clearly didn't have a train in half an hour because it had already been half an hour. But she just wanted to, like, you know, carry on that little thing. And they were like, oh, yeah, okay. Like, it just proves how many people lie to the character attendants and the ACCs just to get in the queue and meet the character so that they don't have to wait as long. Okay, so this next one happened on the same day. So I was, I think it was the last set of the day. I think I was just stood around because there were so many of us that day. For, there was like four ACCs for one character. I don't know why there were so many of us, but there was. So I think I was just like floating to answer any questions that people had and we were down to like our last one family in the queue, there was a family meeting Remy and then I suddenly noticed like a lady really closely stood behind me, like she was like in my personal bubble and I was like, mm, this isn't okay and I was like, can I help you? Are you okay? And she was like, yeah, yeah, we're just in the queue and I was like, oh, um, actually the queue's here but it's closed now and she was like, oh, well we've been waiting here for like 10 minutes, like I'm meet I want to meet Remy and I was like, oh, um, I'm sorry, but his key's closed, but he's gonna be here tomorrow. And she was like, we've just come out of the restaurant to meet Remy. 
like I want to meet Remy. I also knew that she was lying to me when she told me that they had been there for 10 minutes because they weren't wearing coats because they had just come straight out of the restaurant. They would have been frozen if they had been there for 10 minutes. Plus I only saw them like 10 seconds before she said that. I'm like I'm pretty sure that like I've been like looking around here like I'm pretty sure like I would have seen you stood waiting. And I was like well I'm sorry but his queue's closed you can't meet Remy but if you want I I was thought well okay well I'll be nice to this family I'll give them a little bit of magic even though they can't technically queue to meet Remy and I said if you wait around here then as Remy's leaving set then you can have a little meet and greet with him like while he's walking and take some pictures then and she was like oh, okay great thank you so she stood to the side where I told her to stand and she just started taking pictures of her kids like stood in front of Remy while Remy was meeting with another family and I said to her I was like oh excuse me sorry if you don't mind waiting until he's finished with this family just because it's not very fair to take pictures of like other people's children in their meet and greets like I'm sure you wouldn't want people I'm sure you wouldn't want people taking pictures of your kids in meet and greet so if you wouldn't mind just waiting until he's finished and she was like oh yeah okay sorry so I turn my back again and I look back and she's taking the pictures again and I'm like I'm sorry as I said before, if you wouldn't mind just waiting until he's finished with his meet and greet, then you can take your pictures then. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. And I turn around again and she's doing it again and she's trying to take more pictures. So I literally just was like, I'm sorry, can you please stop taking pictures now? She wasn't gonna get this magic after how she'd been doing this because I'd asked her three times not to take pictures and she carried on trying to take pictures. So, you know, I was like, that's it, she's not having any magic, she doesn't deserve it, she's rude. As I was like leaving set with Remy, um, I was like, oh, you could take a picture with him now, like sort of like knowing like, oh, you're not gonna catch up with him because he's leaving, it's too, he's too far gone, whatever, I don't care. You don't deserve your picture anyway, but I told her that she could take it, and then she like comes up to me and she's like, excuse me, what's your name? I'm going to report you. And I was like, oh, okay, well, my name's Chelsea. And she was like, um, yeah, like, I just don't like the way that you've been speaking to me, you've been so rude. And I was like, well, actually, I was trying to help you, but you just kept taking pictures, and I don't think that that's very fair on that family who was trying to have a nice meet and greet. And she was just so rude, and she kept being like, I'm gonna report you, I'm gonna go to guest services, I want your name, and I'm gonna report you. And I was just like, okay, go and report me. Like, really, what are they gonna care? Like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, like, an ACC was doing her job. Oh, how dare she? And for what? Like, letting her take pictures with Remy after he'd finished. Like, I was trying to do something nice for this family. I was trying to give them a little bit of magic so that they could still meet Remy even though they weren't in the queue and whatever. I was like, yeah, go meet him after the set. Like, how is that being rude? And then like, she tries to take pictures. She ignores me. So I say, please don't take pictures right now. And she's like, okay. And then she just carries on doing it. Like, of course I'm gonna keep saying it. Like, I'm not being rude to you. I'm just trying to give this family a magical meet and greet and then you can have yours afterwards if you wait two minutes. Wow, I am a monster. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to the next one because that woman just makes me mad thinking about her. Okay, so this next one is a really weird one. So this happened when I was ACC in Pluto in the studios. I had another guest who was really rude and I didn't know what they were saying because they were speaking in French and I don't speak French and I had helped them out a little bit so I think they'd asked me something about like the animation studio like it wasn't even related to meeting Pluto it was something about the animation studio and I was like oh yeah it's just over there in the big hat and I like gave them directions in French even though it was literally like there I could see it it was literally straight opposite where we were stood and like I had tried to help them out with like other th questions that they'd asked me but obviously it was in French so maybe I didn't fully understand, maybe I didn't answer it right, I don't know, I tried my best and I said oh if you just wait one minute I'll go and get my colleague who speaks French. I went to go and get her and these people complained to her about me because I didn't speak French and I, it was time to take Pluto off set so I started walking off with Pluto and these people asked this other ACC what my name was so that they could report me because I didn't speak French. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that it's annoying to be in your country and someone working there who doesn't speak your language. I get that. I do understand that it's annoying, but it's not in my contract to speak French. Like, they weren't even, like, that rude to me. Like, they were pretty rude, but, like, I didn't think that they were being that rude. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I couldn't understand what they were saying. I'm sorry, but Disney's an English speaking company. It's not in my contract to speak French. I don't even have to say a word in French to you if I don't want to. I literally can just speak in English and that's it. But I try 
I put in the effort to learn French, to be able to speak French with you, like, can't you see that I'm making the effort? Please, like, can you just be nice about it? I don't know, like, the... <sighs> It just baffles me like I understand that it's annoying if people can't speak your language and we're in your country but there's no need to try and like report me over it I mean like what a guest service is gonna do they're gonna be like okay great like she doesn't have to speak French go away now you know like it was just a whole thing about nothing this next one actually happens quite a lot so if you're the person closing a queue you are the mean person who is stealing the dreams of so many children according to their parents. Most of these kids probably don't actually care to meet the specific character, it's probably their parents just like wanting a picture. So many of them, like as I've closed the queue and I'm like, oh sorry, it's closed for today. And they're like, oh, but it's Jimmy's birthday. Can't you just let him, like, can't you just let us in the queue um, as just like one more family? And I'm like, oh no, sorry, I can't do that. The queue is closed. And it's basically because if I let them in, I'd have to let every family who wants to go in, in the queue. And then there's no point in having closed the queue, you know, because then the time just goes up and I'm not going to do it for one family and not the next, you know, like what makes them more special than the next family that says it's their kid's birthday. You know, it's probably not even Jimmy's birthday today, but his mum is telling me it is. So I have to believe her that it is Jimmy's birthday. And this one woman was so rude. So she comes up to me and she was like, oh, can we just, um, can we meet Winnie the Pooh? And I'm like, sorry, the queue's closed for today. And she's like, oh, but can't you just let us in because it's Jimmy's birthday today? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. And she like kept fighting me for a little while. And then in the end, she was just like, oh, sorry, Jimmy, you can't meet Winnie the Pooh because this lady said you can't. And I was just like, like, okay, great, put the blame on me for being the big bad lady, but like, it's my job. Winnie the Pooh needs to go off set at a specific time. I'm not gonna make him stay 10 minutes longer because you wanted to meet him. It's not fair and like, he needs to come off set at a certain time, so I'm not gonna let you in the queue, especially when you're being rude to me. If like, families are really, really kind about it, then maybe I would make some magic for them and allow them to meet Winnie the Pooh, but if you're rude, there's absolutely no chance you're going to get any magic, so bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so this next story actually happened when I was doing my ACC, like, approval. So I was being watched by the person who trains you just to see if you're good enough to be an ACC, basically. So yeah, it was my approval and for this specific one, I was on the disabled access. So basically how it works in Paris for the disabled access is they bring up their card, you give them a time slot and then they go off and do their own little thing and then they come back at that time and they can go straight in to meet the character. So we were fully booked for like the next half an hour or hour or so and so I said oh I can't let you in now but I can give you this time and she was like oh no can't we just like go in now and meet him and I was like oh no sorry I've only got these appointments left and we're fully booked up until this point and it's a pretty long queue so I can't just let you in now. And then she started getting quite rude and she was like, oh, well, we can't go at that time because we have to go up to the room and get my husband's medication. And I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe I can give you one even later than that. Like, we're not supposed to. We're supposed to, like, do it in the order of the sheet. But I thought, oh, okay, well, if they need to go and get medication, then it's going to take that long. Then I will just give them one a little bit later if they want it. And she was like, oh, no, we can't have one later. Goofy is my son's favourite character and he hasn't been able to meet him yet. Can we please go in now? And I was like, oh, no, sorry, I can't let you in right now. I can give you a later appointment, but I can't let you in now, I'm afraid. And I was like, if you can't meet, if you can't come back at that time, then you can always come back tomorrow. Goofy is here every day. And she was like, oh, well, we're not here tomorrow. We're going home today. And I was like, oh, OK, well, he has been here like every day for the past however long you've been here. It turns out they'd been here for four days. She was definitely lying about Goofy being their favorite character because she would have met him already. So she gave me the medication excuse. She gave me the last day excuse. She then um, did the it's my favorite character excuse to then say, oh, well, actually we have to be at the airport in an hour. So can we please just go in now? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. But I was thinking in my head, like, if you need to be at the airport in an hour, go. Like, why are you trying to meet a character if you need to be at the airport and catch your flight? You know, like, you're not going to make it. You're clearly lying to me. I'm not going to let you in. Like, you're being very rude now. I'm so sorry. I've just noticed that there is, like, building work outside. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so then I've got two more stories to tell today, which are just sort of, like, how people treat ACCs in general. I've had 
like I think it's happened like once or twice it's not like common but when I'm in the pavilion ACCing families think that the ACC is a coat hanger I don't know but they've taken off their coats in the queue whatever great you're prepared and then they come in they completely ignore that I am a human being and just like throw their coat on me and I'm like um yeah this is my job <laughs> like no put it on the floor like I'm not your coat hanger. <laughs> Some people are just so like thoughtless. Like it's not even that they're rude as a family because like they're just excited to meet the character. Like I get it. But like be polite to the ACC and the photographer. Like we are there to help. We are not there to be your personal coat hanger. Just, just, just be nice. Put your coats and bags on the floor. And then along the same sort of lines, people just throw their phones in your faces. Like they don't ask, can you take a picture? They just give you their phone. So it's like, okay, yes, I can take a picture for you. You're welcome. It takes, what, two seconds out of your day to say, would you mind taking a picture for me, please? You know, just be polite. Don't throw your phone in their faces. Like literally you just get people like, oh, okay, I'll catch your phone for you. It's just, people can be just so rude to the ACCs and just like pretend like they're not even a person. Like they can be very rude to the photographers as well. But obviously I haven't been a photo pass photographer so I don't really know stories from that point of view. I've seen it happen. Some people are very lovely. Like some people are like the sweetest and like they're very, very kind and chatty to the ACCs. But some people just don't even care that we have real human feelings and they just care about the characters and they're pretty rude so yeah okay so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos i will see you in my next video bye everyone